hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be making an update video with regards to the ups system that is sold by wealth minister so many of you have asked me to change the settings in order for it to be able to trade things like nasdaq since the initial software was only for currency pairs so instead of purchasing it from wealth minister with the settings for indices i have created my own and you are more than welcome to use it yourselves so right now we are in the metatrader 4 platform and if you were to just apply the wealth minister software you'd get something like this and this isn't very tradable so you would need to make some adjustments to the settings so i have made a preset so that you can just apply this to the indicator and then it will automatically adjust to the settings that i have applied to my own one so right now these are the initial settings that the indicator comes with and now i will show you what it looks like after applying my template or preset rather so as you can see right now the start time end time and the session end time have changed as well as the max box size in pips so this is what calculates your breakouts and that is what the Fibonacci is based off on with, with your entry buy and entry sell levels. So all this does is it changes the breakout box so that it accommodates for higher volatility. So since NASDAQ is a lot more volatile than currency pairs since it is right now 16,000 compared to something like currency which would be a 0.5 or along those lines so now after applying the updated settings we can see that we have a much nicer looking chart the breakouts over here are now limited to that 10,000 pips but it only occurs every once in a while where they hit that max limit but it is a lot better than the initial indicator would have been had you not applied the settings to it. The time frame that I was using when I was back testing the adjusted settings was the 15 minute time frame. Uh, the 5 minute time frame works well as well but as soon as you get to 30 minutes to an hour the breakouts are quite large and you end up hitting your buy target within one candle so it's not really viable to use it on the one hour time frame when you're using it on nasdaq so an example of that would be if you take a look at the trade over here which immediately goes all the way through the entry buy and it's the buy target and then over here as well and you could make a case for this as well because this hits halfway through your your profits already so there's not much room left for you to trade in but if we change the time frame to the 15 minute time frame there's more space for your trades to occur so you can enter the market at a better stage and hopefully still make some profits but if you don't um, choose to use the buy targets and do it like i have done it i used a set take profit and stop loss it wouldn't be variable like if you're using the buy targets i used a 5,000 take profit and a 2,500 stop loss and there was also very specific entry criteria that I was using in order to make sure my trades were as safe as possible so the first entry criteria that I was using was checking whether or not the candle that has closed either below the entry sell or above the entry buy level has done so without a large wick bringing it back towards the entry buy or entry sell level so an example of that could be this bar over here you can see that this bar has a very short wick on it and is mostly green indicating that a large buying pressure has occurred the second entry criteria was something like over here where the buying pressure is not too much but then the market does come back to retest this level and then after that it shows us that we can enter the market because it's rejecting that level with all of these wicks so those are the two entry criteria that i was using and that goes for both buys and sells as well even though the market has broken over here it immediately breaks back into the breakout zone and then it crosses the entry sell line again and then it breaks back in it's not following the pattern that we would like which is it breaks out and then retests the level or 
it breaks out with enough selling power for us to take a safe sold trade so an example of a safe trade would be this candle over here when it crosses the buy zone so because the, uh, there's a lot of buying power on this candle it means that we can take it immediately we don't really need to wait for confirmation please take note that this isn't 100% accurate as I will show in my backtested results so right now we are looking at the backtested results for the wealth minister UPS system on the 15 minutes time frame for NASDAQ the period that I backtested was the 1st of August until the 20th of October and within that time we got 40 trades and that's normally where I stop testing so of the 40 trades we can see that 13 were losses and 27 were profitable leaving us with a win rate of 67.5% and that gave us a total profit of around 1,415 and bear in mind that the testing was done using the lowest lot size of 0.01 .01. if you'd like to use larger lot sizes you are more than welcome to that just means that your profits and losses will increase 10 times every time you move from 0.01 .01 to 0.1 and from 0.1 to 1 so just a final recap of what we look for before we make an entry we are either looking for a candle with a lot of buying or selling power in order to enter the market immediately or we are looking for the candles to break through the level but then come back down and retest it so that we can take a trade we are not looking for something that hovers around the same level so something like this where the candles break out and then it comes back to test the level and then the market rejects the level giving us the indication that we can take the buy just please note that some of these entries are highly volatile as you can see over here even though the trade plays out this would still count as a loss if you're using my stop loss because i'll show you in a moment that this candle wick over here would wick you out before you made any profit on it so this candle wick is around 2700 pips and if you're using my stop loss that would mean that you will be out of the market before you are able to make any cash so just take note of that when you are trading nasdaq on the 15 minutes time frame or the five minute time frame because the results are very similar on those two time frames there will not be a rating or a download section all you need to do is watch the previous wealth minister video and follow that same links and in that google drive folder i will place the template for the nasdaq settings as well thank you for watching this update video goodbye